Shalom to the light. Give it all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Shem, Yah, Shai, Bashem, Kokadash, and give him double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops, great millstone, well, peace and salutation to you, like. All right, this uh, is another addition to this video, which I did a video, and I know uh, loads of uh, brothers, you know, part of the fold of great millstone, have done videos uh, concerning this adultery, which in this video you have um uh, some uh what do you call that they saying even possibly a certified nurse assistant cna um getting with a nurse at the job that is married and she lies to her husband and says she's gonna work another shift she gets a a hotel room to be with the dude and the dude records pretty much everything. Now, um, there's an addition to, I guess, after the guy, you know, went uh, to the hotel. And I see that in this video. And excuse this uh, strange dude on the other side. You know, uh, I don't know, he makes a lot of weird facial expressions. I'm not sure if he understands the gravity of things, but... You know, this is, a, this is the first time me seeing uh, this video. But, um, you know, it, get, it looked like apparently worse and more proud. So I'm just going to cover more so, you know, the additions. But I'll play the, the beginning anyway. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay the next year. Current date is also July the 6th, or July, pardon me, the 26th. Hoping you're Jacob Trouble. Power 555, uh, 555 p.m. here in Babylon, the Great America. Pray there's much judgment for you know, the adulterers out there, too. But this is just, it's just, it's just too much. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay here. Is, is something there? wrong with this Lawrence Tate old dog looking dude like he he's so proud like he's smiling like dude if you so proud why don't you flip this flip this flip this id tag so people can see who you actually are if you if you that proud you know tattoos on them stupid um dreadlocks shiva jadis you know, stupid goatee, stupid beard, and a, and a, a foolish woman. All right. Wicked, yeah. shy. Is it a problem? Is it's it a problem? Lead you to doubt. Look at this. He all over this damn girl at work. Um. Okay. I, yeah. I just. Uh, I'll give you a call. In the middle of the night. He's freaking dude. Yeah, Still yeah. looking so, so I'm weird. Just, I'm just gonna stay tonight. I'll, I'll be home about seven thirty. Okay. All right. I love you. Okay. Bye. He he don't even care about you. So you went for it? Yes. Not happy, but yeah. <laughs> you Jake, uh, wicked okay. man. So I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures on deck too, real quick. This is uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 12 and 26. The righteous is more excellent than his neighbor. That would be really uh, reflecting the Israelites, all right, who had the law, statutes, and commandments. Um, neighbor being, you know, the, uh, the heathen, the Edomite, all right, here. But the, yeah, but the way of the wicked seduces them. Yeah, the way of the wicked, the Edomites actually seduced them, all right? The Aya was going to to make a person to wander, go astray, all right? To be caused to err, all right? And this dude being led away by the way of the Edomites, all right? Which is nothing for an Edomite to have sex, you know, um, with anybody, okay? 
They don't care. And Jake, you should know better. All right? And refrain your appetite. All right? Don't sit around with nobody wife that's married. Hotel room already? Hotel room is booked. Keys in the car. Keys in the car. At the hotel room. Room. Stupid, stupid hotel. Cheap nigga. It's me. It's him. It took you so long. My bad. It's good. What you playing? This dude. Look at look at this dude with this biting biting the biting his his lips or teeth and, and look at this nigga man. The Lord gonna get him, I'm telling you. You know, I pray the Lord get all these adulterers, okay? That because and they know, you know, these women they know, okay? They they go pour out their heart about whatever with the man, and this these these dudes are, oh well, you don't have to worry about him. I'll 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 um I'll fill that void. You know, I there's so many different R and B songs too. You know, I know brothers mentioned, but there's uh different O and B songs uh about adultery too, you know, even in the modern day. Uh let me let me think of it. I'm gonna pull up this uh Bobby V joint. His name Bobby V. Alright, so this is Bobby V. Give me a chance. Let this be the day that you change your life. Let me show you what a day without pain is life. Let's toast come close, baby. I don't bite. Plus, I know you want a man that will treat you right. Now, like I say, a lot of the times with these chicks, they already got a dude, okay? Okay? And then, like I say, they entertain the, the, the wicked adultery. Let, uh, let's see. Tell me, baby, why you want to hide what you feel inside. Because I feel it. Sexy girl, you ought to put away your pride. Because you see it, see it in your eyes. We can hang out for the weekend. But for now, I just want to know why you looking at me like that. You know what you looking at. If you know what you're waiting on, let's have a conversation. I can find a corner over there. Lights are down. Perfect atmosphere. I'm going to make you want me right now. Give me a chance. I see you whispering. You know, and I believe this definitely, like I say, got to go into some adultery. I got to find it. Duncan Highs. Plus, I know you want a man. But, I mean, you could go into it on your own. There's a lot of different songs. I got to think of something off the top. You know? But, you know, this whole stuff is, 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 is wicked. I mean, definitely with the August Alcina uh, ball, he, he wicked. August Alcina. I don't want nobody but you kissing on my tattoos and all this other stuff. But we gonna keep at it, but you know, I'm just in the spirit. We go back to this. Look at this dude in the dark with the dreads. Like he just look wicked, man. Like this nigga looks so wicked, man. She booked the hotel. This nigga in the bed. With this chick on her back in a robe. While she on the phone apparently calling him. You know, he's supposed to call the dude at night. In the middle of the night or something. Why he right there. I mean, how disrespectful. 
how how wicked is this whole thing is okay this whole thing is Rashad or wicked the whole circumstance and he recording this shit Look, rubbing on his... Dude, that's somebody... That's not even yours. Like, what are you doing? This this is wicked, man. She she act like she was on a break when she, when she called her husband while we were at the telly laid up. All right? This dude sitting there... Look, he, he gone. He's sitting there. He got that dumbass look on his face like, yeah... I'm up to this bullshit, you know, I'm doing this, I'm getting this, and he got that dumbass look, what, what this gotta be is like, it's like, like, it's like stupid, like, yeah, I can't believe this happened, but, yeah, it's happening, but it's stupid, it's like comical to him too in his head, cause it's like, this nigga know, this, this, he not even gonna, like, ain't nothing gonna, gonna, gonna mount to this whole Adultery Other than Mawath Or deletion Alright It ain't like He gonna marry You do She already married It ain't like you Would wanna get married You you just wanna hit You know And then Like a lot of you women You sitting there telling All, all this uh, You know You got your issue Work Work your issues out With your man Okay Keep That Between You in him. Okay. Let me get another scripture real quick. Because I don't know what the hell. This dude on somebody hold, hold back and stuff. Back climbing old dog. Like I said, a nigga look like, uh, like, 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 like the uh, Lawrence Tate. And it's just wicked, man. Uh, the scriptures say, Let no man... Come asunder, something like that. Let's see, asunder. Uh, if I could spell it. This is Mark chapter 10 and 9. What therefore the Most High had joined together. Actually, I'm going to go a bit above. This is, uh, this is, uh, Mark chapter 10 and you know you could go into it it's our one I started too it says and the Pharisees came to him being Yahweh Shai who the Lord and he called Jesus Christ and asked him is it lawful for a man to put away his life now it says tempting him and he said unto them what did Moses command you and then they said Moses suffered to write a bill of divorcement and put her away. And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, For the hardness of your heart, he wrote you this precept. Okay? Stubbornness. Okay? But from the beginning of creation, God made them male and female. For this cause shall a man leave his wife. I mean, he, his father and mother, and cleave to his wife, and they twain shall be one flesh. So they are no more twain, but one flesh. And you definitely can feel and know when a woman is not really with you anymore. Okay, a lot of these women they're avoidant. Okay, you you could you lay down like I said, you could lay down with her and see her. And you know something is wrong because it's spiritual, okay? And I could I could speak from testimony to know, and I believe I'm hundred percent right about it, okay? You know, don't you get committed on you and and, and, and a chick, she she sitting there just, you know she you know she may be on a fence on the reconciliation. You know, but really, like I said, she gone. All right, it's gone. Cause now look, look at look at what it is. You know, the Lord gonna bring, of course, judgment 
for brothers, you know, that adultery been committed on them, you know, because, uh, you know, the Lord, like I said, he, he, um, he revenges, you know, his elect, all right, so, um, you know, that keeps hope, of course, because, um, you know, this place is wicked, Rashai. What therefore the Most High had joined together, let no man put asunder. All right. So dudes ain't supposed to be coming in the between relationship. Hey, well, I can do it better, man. Right, let me show you how to treat you right, dude. G g get out of here, man. Don't worry how I treat my woman. All right. Separate oneself from asunder. Right. You ain't supposed to. Go, you all up in the, you talking to her, getting into the, the business and all that. None of that. Okay? Look what this dude doing. He goofy. This is going on. Okay. Look, laid up, biting his tongue, Glass, teeth. What is a dude biting his tongue, teeth? I'm going to look at the body language. Brothers want to go in the body language, you know. This dude is he 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 he, he actually slow. He got to be slow too. Something wrong with him. Has spirits on him. What are you doing? Yo, this she talking about some. What are you doing? Making you look a fool. So it get worse. They proud. The Lord hate proud people. And the Lord gonna bring down judgment on the proud. A proud look. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter six and verse sixteen. It says here, Th these six things that the Lord Yahweh hate, yes, yeah, seven are abomination unto Him. All right. These six things, all right? Yeah, how will... Shana is too... Yeah, hate Shana. So, Shana hate. Yeah, how will... The Lord hate. Wa... Shabai, seven is Shabai. The what I bawath abomination Napash So unto him from the Pash A proud look a lion tongue and hands that shed innocent blood and a heart that devises wicked imagination. This is a wicked imagination. This dude actually came up in his thoughts to, with this damn, th th this is a damn conspiracy of breathing together to go commit adultery in a, in a hotel room. And, it, and it's, this ain't no damn skit, a fake skit. This is true, you know, at least from what I'm seeing. Dude, proud as hell, you know. Look at this dude, like, yeah, man. He like, a, he like this dude like a young boy when he just gets some yams. You know? Like, look, I'm finally hitting, you know? A proud look. All right? Goodbye. Let me see. I'm going to see what the Hebrew word for proud they got there. They got one which is lifted up, like exalted. He raised up. He took off. And it also means to be rotten and wormy. So this nigga is wormy, okay? Yeah, you niggas is wormy out here. All right? Nigga is wormy, a rotten, wormy nigga. That's what you is, all right, because you decay. All right, the scriptures say about how, um, what's that, Isaiah? How, am um, man, let's speak about the putrefying sore. Right, I'm gonna get this scripture right here, real quick. Isaiah 2 and 17, and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down, and the haughtiness of men shall be made low, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. And the idols 
he shall utterly abolish. And there's different spirits that you niggas is following that make you be that way. All right. Isaiah 2 and two twelve. I mean, it's so many. It's saying right there. Isaiah 2 and 11. The lofty looks of man shall be humble, and the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down, and Yahweh alone shall be exalted in that day. For Yahweh, for the day of Yahweh of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty, and everyone that is lifted up, he shall be brought low. All right? And you lift it up. You know, a lot of y'all done committed adultery, you know, um, wicked... You know, you got wicked of our uh, people done committed adultery. And then, um, like I said, done got proud. You know, you think everything, you ain't get judged. You know, you think everything's all right. You know? No, the Lord gonna get you and your adulterer, okay? Simple as that. It, it, it ain't over. The Lord gonna get you, all right? He gonna bring their vengeance, Okay? The hell, what is it that if you, you, oh, you just think you just get away? Okay. I said, the Lord, I said, you reap what you sow. All right. But this is uh, Isaiah 3 and 10. It says, say ye uh, to the righteous that it shall be wealth with him, for they shall eat the fruit of their doings. Going down, it says, woe unto the wicked, it shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. All right. So, hey, you going to get what you, um, that payback for what you do. All right. And it says, this is Isaiah 3 and 12. And it says, and as for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. All my people they which lead thee cause thee to err and destroy the ways of thy path. And we got wicked rulers, all right, that are Israelites. So-called Negroes, Latinos, Americans are the Israelites, okay? And the Israelite foreigners, you know, like it's a speckled bird that look like heathen nations. Well, you got wicked Israelites that Jake look up to. A lot of them are rappers, celebrities, actors, and they are in this lifestyle. Just look at this dude. This dude, like, he looked like a cartoon. Like, seriously. Laid up. At the telly. You laid up, but look. Look, look. Hey. Please, somebody, please, somebody. Facial recognize this dude. And I pray the Lord have it where this woman, the connection can be made. And that the judgment can go out for this particular individual. For the wickedness he have committed and the wickedness she has committed. And I pray jobs is taken away. You know, I pray the Lord send down diseases. You know, you know, for, and, 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 and revenge, you know, and avenge this wickedness, man. This is just all evil. So I'm going to leave it there. This dude proud. You know, this dude laid up on somebody's back. You know, he happy, he proud. Yeah, I did it. Got the chick in the, in the robe. Like he, he, you know, it's not even funny, but that's all I'm doing. Shalom on T-Lex.